Hey everyone, welcome back to Simpit Academy. Today we will look at two panels, the oxygen panel and the engine panel, as we continue on the right console. For this panel, all three switches are toggles, as shown here, three-way, two-way, three-way, and there are no recesses required for this. The holes here are also just for show, we are not building any gauges. So I'm using the simple flat handle toggles, but the big one, big plastic ones. This is a three-way and this is a two-way. No recesses required for this. So this is the more complicated one. So nothing special here the code is very straightforward all right this is how it looks like you just paint the default white or black to the right colors and you can cover up this if you don't want to see the bottom next we look at the engine panel this is an interesting panel, a lot of toggles, flat ones, pull to turn ones, and we have a light indicator here as well. Luckily, this is working now. And then you need a top recess for the toggle guard um, to sit on. And then the holes here to lock the toggle. Small toggles, pull the turn toggles, flat handle toggle for one of the switches in the middle and a light indicator. This can be whatever size you want. I think the 10mm did not come with the 6 volt. Or at least I didn't find one at that time. So I have a bigger one, a 12 volt, 12 mm um, 6 volt indicator. And then your toggle guard and your big toggles as usual. Alright, this one you need some recess and locking holes. And the dimensions are all standard as per my first two videos. So top recess as shown here. And then you might want to add some lines like here or you can just totally skip them so for the toggle safety guard there are two things we need to do one is to drill a hole here for the toggle guard to go through the top of the toggle if you don't do this, when you close the cover, it will push the toggle back down. So as in the real thing, it there's an opening. Actually, the opening, it goes all the way back. So you first drill a hole and then you have to pull out whatever metal is hidden in there like this. Okay, this is the one that I pull out. You might even have to disassemble this part here to pull out everything and then put this back in here and close it with this piece of rod okay so then when you flip the toggle up and you close it it stays here without the top pushing it back down and you have to do this for both toggle guard all right it's a bit tedious but it's doable The second thing you want to do is there's a DCS BIOS code to detect the opening and closing of the cover. So what you need is a this read relay magnetic switch. I tried once those with glass or thin plastic before they break even at the touch. So this is more robust and you just stick drill two tiny holes and stick it into the panel and at the bottom just have one plus one minus 
to the Arduino. Basically an on off like a push button switch and then have the strong magnets here. They have different sizes. Um, pick something of about this size and if one is not strong enough, you need, you need two. Okay. Basically when you hot glue this and then when you push it up, it will land somewhere in the middle where the magnetic field is the strongest and then basically um, that is like pushing a button okay for the Arduino setup the oxygen panel and this engine panel it's all just using toggles and the read relay switch and the light indicators are both like push buttons just plus minus all right so this is a very simple setup so this is how we prepare all the switches this one the starter light when you press the test light switch it will come on so the cover you flip and you push it and you can you see there's an opening here to hold it there so when you basically you cannot push anything forward and the cover also doesn't push the toggle back down all right so this is the dcs code now this is this was the default code in the beginning which uh doesn't work and then the latest dcs bios they changed the naming convention as mentioned in the ricp update that um, they use this convention which cannot compile probably missing something in some class library and then the latest one i got this code whenever <clears throat> led lights don't work i you i check the code in board and this is the one that works. So what is board? Board it's something like this where, where um, you can it's like the DCS BIOS control reference, but um the code especially for LED lights tend to be more functional and also when you pick something there is a switch whatever there is an output and if you in the game um mouse click something the value here will change okay for toggles for rotaries whatever so you guys should um check this out it's another point of reference should the default code doesn't work all right then um, this is the finished product um, the white marker i use tends to have flakes whatever that's why you see all these dots but uh, when you put on the VR, you don't see this. Even without the VR, it's hardly noticeable. Okay, so now we will see how all this works.